when we have a non-zero alpha, when, when the ue actually changes as a function of x, we have a slightly modified equation. And the equation we would be solving is like that. Uh, is we have an alpha, now it's non-zero, times the, not derivative, times the first derivative of phi square minus alpha plus theta times phi, a second order derivative of y. Uh, now this is the advection term in the momentum equation. A times ue square, so uh, no, alpha times ue square. So that is my pressure term coming from the outside plus nu times the third order derivative of phi. So this is the new equation we are solving. If we make both, if we make all these three alphas equal to uh, zero, it'll be exactly the process equation. Okay? And this alpha corresponding, corresponds, as we analyzed a little bit earlier, the rate of growth in x of the external velocity. So here, again, we can write phi as a function of u. And uh, previously, we the, non, uh, the, the parameters are theta over nu and ue. Now in this case, we have one more parameter, right? We have one more parameter. Alpha and theta are the same unit, right? Otherwise, you can't add them together. So the additional one is uh, alpha over theta. So this is already non-dimensional. So when you non-dimensionalize the coordinates y, you can still non-dimensionalize to the same thing. So y over square root of uh, uh, theta divided by nu ue. Can somebody check if that's right? I think it's still right. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. So it's uh, it's nu nu over theta ue. <coughs> and alpha over theta. So this alpha over theta serves as an, a parameter, an, another parameterization of the solution to the equation. And uh, after non-dimensionalization, what I get is instead of alpha, I get alpha over theta, right? Uh, I'm, just call, I'm just call this A. So I, what I get is A times this, minus 1 plus a, so theta becomes 1, uh, alpha becomes a, phi, uh, not, not, not y anymore, now it's eta, is equal to a times ue becomes 1, right, plus nu also becomes 1, so third order derivative with respect to eta. So that's what we get. And, uh, uh, and just a slight rearrangement of the equation uh, with let's still define our our uh, our f to be the non-dimensionalized version of of eta. So uh, phi divided by the appropriate scales. So in this case, I think you need u e times the length scale. So the length scale is. Uh, is what is non-dimensionalizing y. So f to be this, fp to be uh, df d eta, and fpp to be uh, the second order derivative of f with respect to eta. Then this equation, this equation becomes uh, fpp prime, so that's this term, plus 1 plus a times f times fpp, plus, that's the additional term we are having, 1 minus fp squared times a equal to 0. So that's the new equation we are having. All right, so that's uh, this is this is the additional term that comes out from here and here, and there is a one plus a inside the f times fpp. 
So now let's go back to the. Sir, why, why is that a? What? Why, why is there so one plus a the bracket? What is there a plus in front of it? Uh, b because uh, we moved this term from the left hand side to the right hand side. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I should write zero equal to that. It's uh, clearer, right? And also that makes this term to be the minus fp square here. 